Venus is the hottest planet in the solar system. And the closest planet to Earth. Venus is the second brightest object in the night sky after our moon. Venus's name comes from the Roman goddess Venus, who is the goddess of love. Did you know that Venus was once habitable? These are nine riveting facts about Venus. Number one. Venus and Earth are called twins. Lots of people call Venus and Earth twins, even though they seem completely different. The reasons are the following. Venus and Earth are both mostly made up of the same composition. They nearly have the same mass and size. They almost have the same gravity. And they have the closest orbits among all the planets in the solar system. Venus is vastly different than Earth in other ways, though. Number two, Venus probably had liquid water. Astronomers say that for three billion years, Venus was probably habitable and had oceans of liquid water that were between 30 to 1,015 feet deep, or 9 to 309 meters deep. It had relaxing temperatures of 68 to 122 degrees Fahrenheit, or 20 to 50 degrees Celsius. It was a very nice place, and they think that there might have been life. What turned Venus into a lava world? It still kind of remains a mystery. There are many theories, but the most likely one is a very destructive geological occurrence. About 700 million years ago, tons of magma started to emerge and bubble to the surface, and it released trillions of tons of CO2. On Earth, Rocks eat up all the carbon dioxide, but this didn't happen on Venus. Because the rocks were covered by the solidified lava. This led to a runaway greenhouse effect, and the temperatures rose up to a sweltering 900 degrees Fahrenheit, or 482 degrees Celsius. The atmosphere became 92 times as dense as on Earth. The water had evaporated. Venus's atmosphere today actually has 0.4% water vapor. I didn't want life, Earth! Number 3. Venus had a moon. Astronomers think that for 10 million years, Venus probably had a moon. It was covered in lava for most of the time. It most likely collided with Venus. So for a slice in Venus's history, it did have a moon. Speaking of collisions... Number 4. Venus has collided with three space objects. Astronomers speculate that Venus had three major space collisions throughout its entire history. The first one was about 4 billion years ago, which was probably the biggest one when Venus collided with another planet. This caused rock from Venus and the other planet to be flung about in space. Gravity pulled and clumped up all the debris together to form Venus's moon. This is the same way our moon was born. Then, 10 million years later, another planet hit Venus, marking the second collision. This collision caused Venus's rotation to be spun clockwise instead of counterclockwise like Earth. Because of the retrograde rotation, the gravitational interaction between Venus and its moon was messed up. 
So that moon began to move closer to Venus instead of moving farther away like our own moon, and the third collision is, as I said, Venus's moon crashed into Venus and went bye bye. Number five Venus's weather is very harsh and extreme. Besides scorching temperatures and an unbreathable atmosphere, Venus has lots of other factors that make it have harsh weather. In the middle cloud strata of Venus, wind speeds can reach above 450 miles per hour or 724 kilometers per hour. For comparison, the fastest wind speed on Earth ever recorded was in 1999 when an EF5 tornado reached 301 miles per hour or 484 kilometers per hour. There is sulfuric acid lightning on Venus that always strikes the surface violently. There is rain and snow on Venus too, but it is not refreshing at all. It rains sulfuric acid and it snows metals. The types of metals it snows are called bismuthonite and galena. Number six, Venus has a very tall mountain. The highest mountain on Venus is named Skadi Mons, and it's in the Maxwell Montes Massif. It is thirty-seven thousand seven hundred and ninety-five feet tall. That's taller than Mount Everest. I can see the whole solar system at this height. Number seven, a day on Venus is longer than a year. Venus's day is longer than its year. It takes Venus about two hundred forty-three Earth days to spin fully on its axis once, and it takes two hundred twenty-five Earth days to complete one orbit around the Sun. Hmm. People who don't have enough time to work in a day should go to Venus. Just kidding. Number eight. Humans have sent spacecraft to Venus. While putting a human on Venus would be super hard, we can send spacecraft to Venus. This is a real, colorized image of Venus's surface, taken by the Russian spacecraft Venera 13 on March 1st, 1982. As you can see, the surface doesn't look that delightful. Ten spacecraft have landed on Venus so far. And finally, number nine, Venus is one of the only planets we can see cross in front of the sun. Venus, along with Mercury, are the only two planets that we can see pass in front of the sun. It happens very rarely, though. Astronomers have only seen Venus cross in front of the sun about eight or seven times. That is not that much. Which fact was your favorite? Please share in the comments below and subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.